Hi guys, welcome back to NA Turbo. So today we're going to do some more fettling on the old Hannibal the Supra. So um, a little while ago, I might have said that I want to get the air conditioning working again, which is one of the aims. We've proved the concept um, with its original air con pump and a Schrader valve. Um, so now I've got a brand new air con pump uh, and some gas to put in. So we're just going to start stripping down and uh, join us again in a little while. Hello and welcome back to the channel and part two of the air conditioning compressor change. Yep, smugness didn't last long, uh, it's usually the way. So as you can see, we've got two air conditioning compressors now on the go because the one that is on the left here that says A17 on the side, which is right in all the books, right in the parts man's catalogue in the UK, as well as where I got it from in the States, doesn't actually fit the car. But unfortunately, it looks the same until you get down to actually fitting it on the car. Um, and then when you go to put the belt around it, you realise that it sticks out too far. So lots of uh, engineering later and looking on the internet and some playing around. And we found that the number on the back, which is 15C, is the correct one, but it doesn't list it for a Supra. So this is actually off a 1990 uh, Land Cruiser according to the American catalogue and the UK one, but it fits. So uh, there's a little uh, piece of nugget information for you. Don't always believe parts catalogues because they're not always right. Uh, so I've got Ryan helping me today and he's just uh, uh, taking the top off our old compressor, which is here and putting it on this uh, new one because these that you get here are just basically travel um travel packing really to stop it actually getting any moisture in it. it's filled with nitrogen so we've got these now we're now going to go and fit it to the car and um yeah i'll come back once we've actually got it in the car because i'm sure there'll be lots of swearing um and things a little bit later also before i forget Whilst um, the connector on this one, which actually says it's for the car, was right, the connector on this one, which is the one that does actually fit, was wrong. So we had to take off the connector, as you can see down there, and uh, solder it back onto the new wiring. So, hey presto, magic and thanks to Ryan for doing that. Um, we're now going to try it back in the car again, so catch us a little later on. Okay, so you join us back under the bonnet of uh, the Supra again, so you can see everything we actually had to take out um, in order to get the aircon compressor off. So uh, the viscous fans off the fan shroud um, and all the belts are off as well. So uh, join us again once we've got it back in. Hello, so welcome back to part 9 billion or whatever. So yeah, even with the new one, it wasn't that simple. Um, it still didn't fit, this time it was too short, so we ended up making one good aircon uh, compressor out of two. So basically if I spin down to the old one here, it's on the ground, what we had to do was change uh, this pulley off the original one we bought which said was for the car but wasn't, and change that on to the new one that wasn't for the car but is, if that makes sense. So um, yeah, basically two had to be used to make one but it's running, everything's now back on, and if I whip you round and inside, uh, you'll have to take my word for it, but we have recharged, and if I now sit in, the aircon is running, as you can see, and that is ice cold. I've got an air conditioning portable unit in my bedroom, and it's as cold as that, which takes it down to about 16 or 17 degrees C. So, smugness has returned, albeit after lots of swearing and cursing. But um, yeah, it's back, so it's been recharged with just one of your air conditioning recharge systems from Halfords. Um, and uh, it's now sitting in the green on the gauges on that. It's cold in here. So, uh, I'll count that as a win. We'll just monitor it and see what. Uh, Continues to happen, but hopefully that means we've now got one of the only Mark III Supras in the UK with working air conditioning. But I'll say thank you for watching, and yeah, do like and subscribe. Bye bye for now.